Hello Swiss Army Knife Collectors, this is Will here again with another full refurb that I'm getting ready to show you. This knife we're looking at here is a mother of pearl celluloid slash cracked ice, uh, whichever one anybody calls it. Uh, it was made in the 1940s by Wanger and it is a Wanger Tahara with a crossbow Swiss shield. Uh, I bought this knife off of eBay several months back and it was in pretty good shape when I got it. Uh, as you can see there, it's, it's passable with no major uh, condition issues. The only one that stuck out was this uh, pin blade here uh, where someone had tried to cut a live electrical cord with it and it basically arced uh, kind of a W impression into it. Um, but I did wind up replacing this blade with a donor knife uh, blade and uh, since I had to take that apart uh, I decided to go ahead and take the entire knife apart and uh, do a full refurb on it uh, mainly due to its uh, rarity. One uh, nice thing about polishing and refurbing stainless steel knives is it's a lot easier to get the scratches out than it is to take out uh, corrosion or pitting that you would find on earlier carbon uh, officer's knives. Okay, let's take a look at the knife. Here is what it looks like after I have done the full refurb. It is extremely glossy. Let's see if I can get a shot there of the shield for you. It didn't have any cracks or uh, issues with the scales other than um, some dents and dings that I had to sand out. Uh, I always go up through all the sanding grits. Um, you know, I think I started out about 600 on the scales and worked my way up to 3,000 grit. One thing I do when I polish is I uh, cross out my previous uh, sanding scratches. So for instance on this blade here when I uh, polish it uh, I'll polish lengthwise on one grit and then I will do side to side on the next grit and it reveals any of the previous uh, scratches uh, from the prior grit that you need to take out. So it's a lot easier to spot, um, you know, if you're there yet or not on that uh, particular uh, grit. The liners on this are nickel silver. Uh, also, as so is the shield and the pins. Here's the pin blade. It also has Winger Tahara on the tank stamp. This is a very beautiful knife. I knew it would uh, be worth the time that it took to do the refurb on it. I think I took about it took about 20 to 30 hours on this particular knife. One nice thing about taking the knife completely apart is uh, since it's 70 plus years old, you're able to clean out all the grit and grime and uh, anything that's in the uh, back springs.
The only tool that has a little less of a snap is the corkscrew. Uh, I think it needs a little oil to it and I can work it out. Let me show you the prior knife uh, that I did a refurb on about four months ago. Here is the 91 millimeter, just so you can see the difference in size. Uh, this particular knife is a four layer. Uh, I built it out of uh, donor parts and I did quite a bit of work on getting rid of cracks that were around the pins. If you're interested, it's on my YouTube channel uh, of going through the entire knife. Thanks a lot and please subscribe.